And for today's topic, I'm going to provide you the best tips regarding U.S. immigration. I'm also going to provide you a brief overview of the U.S. immigration process and whether you are coming here on a temporary visit or if you wanted to work or live here permanently or if you wanted to sponsor someone, then this video is for you. Every year, there are thousands of people immigrate in the United States and there are also a lot of people visiting. There are various options available for you. So it all depends on the purpose of your travel. So let me provide my personal story. I came here in the United States based on a K-1 visa, but previously, I was also approved for a B-1, B-2 tourist visa. So let me tell you my short story. I met my husband online and we were able to meet in person after a year. Then the immigration process has to begin. After meeting in person, there are so many things to do such as complying with the eligibility requirements for filing a petition. Also, I have to do the immigration process for getting a K-1 visa. Also, you have to undergo medical examination and interview and then you have to fly to the U.S. and get married within a certain period of time. And not only that, it doesn't end there. You have to comply with medical requirements. There's another interview. And before you even get your permanent residency, there are so many documents that you have to submit. After undergoing through the U.S. immigration process, I am now a U.S. citizen and also a dual citizen of the Philippines. I invested time, money, and effort in undergoing through all these requirements. However, let me introduce you to a company called Lawfully.com. I wanted you to achieve your American dream, so let me introduce this company. Lawfully has been presenting groundbreaking solutions for the U.S. immigration market problem since 2017 by providing case tracking, case analyzation, MAC interview, and legal consultation. I would like to thank Lawfully.com for sponsoring this video. Lawfully.com has a mobile app and it's free to you, so don't forget to download it today. Let me provide you the different features. First, they have a case tracker. USCIS and NVC case tracker tracks and analyzes U.S. visa immigration cases. The case tracker is free to use, so don't forget to download this app today. It only takes 3 minutes to register. It's so easy and simple. They also have real-time push notifications. Real-time push notifications, automatic status tracking of multiple cases, and push notification whenever there is an update. Here are the types of visa and form you can track. Family-based green card. Here are the examples. In addition, they also track employment-based green card. Additionally, they also track non-immigrant visa. These are the types of visas. And lastly, there are also other visas that they can track, including naturalization. They also have case prediction. Provides personalized prediction of case processing time, case approval rate, and RFE probability based on big data and algorithms. Another feature that I will be introducing is that they also have a lawyer feature, meaning you can find a lawyer or a reputable U.S. immigration lawyer. Aside from the case tracker, you can also find a reputable U.S. immigration lawyer under lawfully.com website. Please make sure that you have all the necessary information before consulting. Also, you can avail of a lawyer wherever you are located in the world. Legal consultation requires customized solutions based on your needs and situation. So make sure to check out this feature. It is better to have a legal consultation than searching the internet. 
Another important feature is the map interview. So let me show you an important benefit. Doing a MAC interview is a great way to practice for an actual interview. It gives you an idea of what you need to do and sets your expectations. Practice so that you will see areas where you can improve. There is a higher approval rate if you do the MAC interview. By the time the real interview arrives, you are well prepared. The MAC interview is available for all visa types. And the mobile app support different languages so you don't have to worry about being fluent in English. So make sure to avail of this great feature. Don't forget to download this app today. There is also a $5 discount for legal consultation. I'm going to send the links below in my description. If you are using a desktop computer, just type in lawfully.com and you will find this website. Lawfully strives to be the one-stop solution for all your U.S. immigration needs. You can explore different products and also you can check out the community updates and if you wanted to know more about immigration, you can click on Immigration 101. You can also log in or sign up. If you haven't created an account, you can just go to log in and find the sign up button by scrolling down below. And if you wanted to use the free features, you can also link your Google account or your Facebook email address. It is so easy to register. You can also download the app from your mobile phone. Once you create an account, you will be able to track your cases or enter information. There is also a subscription plan based on your needs. Make sure that you have a valid email address and also please create a strong password. I will be able to show you the push notifications feature. Please make sure that you allow in your phone the settings for notification. You can go to settings and once it's set up, you can get notifications for your cases. You can also check the current visa bulletin. On the right hand side, you can add your case enter your receipt number, the case type, the service center, and the application filed date. You can also enter the information of your family members. You can set the case name of your own personal case number, and you can also set the case name of your family members, such as your child or wife, or anyone of your family member. You can explore more features and once you provide all the information make sure that you set the push notification so you will be updated there are so many valuable information regarding immigration there is a practical guide for citizenship test if you know more about green card or if you wanted to prepare for your marriage green card interview and the common questions you can also get important tips on how to fill out a form and also other information based on your personal needs. Let's talk about the B1, B2 visa or tourist visa if you wanted to visit the US. So here is the most important information. In order to get approved for a B1, B2 visa or a tourist visa, you must prove that you have strong ties to your country of origin. This is because consular officers are interested if you are returning back to your home country. However, what constitutes strong ties under Section 214B of the U.S. Immigration and Nationality Act, the consular officer may reject your application if you fail to prove that you have a home residence that you are returning to after traveling abroad. So make sure that you have strong ties. If you have a business, or if you are a professional or if you have a job, you may be able to show these things as strong ties to your home country. What are the examples of these strong ties if you are a professional or business owner? You can show a statement from employer about your job duties, length of employment, and salary. Also a letter written by employer giving you permission to take a time off. 
also paste tabs and if you are running a business you can show statements of the revenue you can also show documentation of your company whether it is a corporation sole proprietorship or partnership if you own financial assets or real estate you can show your property information such as the deed or bank statements other financial statements can also be shown another example of strong ties are family or social circle ties you can prove that you have family connections or family members from your home country you can show your marriage certificate or letters or photos of your family members also community tie is important if you are a student or if you are a volunteer or if you have a strong community ties such as political or nonprofit organizational ties then you can also show those documentation if you get denied from your application you can also reapply later on let's talk about the u.s immigration process for family petitions who can sponsor you or petition you if you are a u.s citizen you can petition the following for green card benefit you can petition your spouse children below 21 and unmarried sons and daughters over 21 and or married parent if you are 21 years or over and also your brothers and sisters if the u.s citizen is 21 years or over a u.s citizen can also petition the following for fiance visa a fiance residing outside the u.s and children of fiance under 21 also the following can be petitioned for k3 k4 visa the spouse and also the children of the spouse who must be unmarried and under 21. let's talk about the family preference visas these visas are for specific more distant family relationships with a u.s citizen and some specified relationships with a lawful permanent resident so the number of immigrants in these categories is limited each fiscal year F1, unmarried sons and daughters 21 years of age and older of U.S. citizens. Second preference, F2A, spouses and children unmarried and under 21 years of age of lawful permanent residence. Third preference, F3, married sons and daughters of U.S. citizens. And fourth preference, F4, brothers and sisters of U.S. citizens if the U.S. citizen is 21 years of age and older. Let me provide the difference for U.S. citizens. Keep in mind that U.S. citizens can file an immigrant visa petition for their spouse, son or daughter, parent, brother or sister. For legal permanent residents, U.S. lawful permanent residents can only file an immigrant visa petition for their spouse or unmarried son or daughter. If you have any other questions or comments, please post them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys for supporting my channel and if you haven't liked this video please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit that notification bell i always welcome new subscribers thank you guys for watching i hope everyone is staying safe and have a great day